Good works don't conflict with the message of grace. Are you ready for some good news? Faith works on many, many levels. So James declared that faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead in James chapter 2. And although Martin Luther called the book of James an epistle of straw, <laughs> James doesn't conflict with the gospel of grace. To say faith works is to say that faith is effective. It works. It means that God moves through our faith. In that sense, God is at work through our faith. To say faith works is also to say that faith works for the believer. If a basketball player believes he's going to make the game-winning basket, he's more likely to make it. That's the way faith works. It moves us toward the success that we envision. And to say faith works is to say that faith always moves into action. When you believe something, you act on your belief. You demonstrate what you believe by what you do. It's always essential to read every scripture in the context of the entire story of the Bible. Or else someone might pluck out a text like this text in James chapter 2 and suggest the Christian life is really about works righteousness. But to read a single text about the importance of our works and turn it into the primary message is to miss the whole narrative. For example, if I told my daughter Abby when she was young, go clean your room, and she responded by declining, and saying that she was nothing more than a slave and the whole reason that we had had her was so she could work for us like Cinderella, well, she'd be missing the whole true narrative, wouldn't she? The real story of our family is about love, joy, laughter, blessing, and ongoing sacrifices that the parents made for the children in order to release them into a rich, God-given destiny. That's the big story. The clean your room part of the narrative is a simple expression of responsibility and partnership. The story of Scripture is not about God creating a people who could work for Him like slaves. The story of Scripture is one big narrative about the love of God that compelled Him to send a Savior at infinite personal cost. See, every command in the Word of God must be read in the light of the big story of God's redemptive love. However, you interpret the epistle of James, it can't be in conflict with Paul's clear words to the Romans, for by works of the law, no human being will be justified in his sight, since through the law comes knowledge of sin, in Romans 3. We're, we're in no way saved by works, but faith, real faith, works. And that's the gospel. That's today's good news. You can get more videos like it clicking right here or better yet. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to our channel and get the good news every day. And I hope today you'll see in some tangible way how faith works.